James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is September 3rd, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've had a 6.01 solar flare coming from that same sunspot, AR-3413. Now that has been eclipsed by the limb, so this was probably a much larger blast. Although our ghost X-ray flux picked it up as a 6.01 M-flare. Unbelievable. Earth is also in the grips of a long-term solar storm. This started arguably yesterday or even the day before. We have seen several hours of geomagnetic storm. Even if we look at the estimated planetary index today, we've seen six hours of geomagnetic storm, including a KP6, which is a G2 geomagnetic storm, jumping over Fredericksburg six hours as well, and six hours of geomagnetic disturbance. And if we're taking a look at the college index, We've had nine hours of a geomagnetic storm and six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance making up every hour of the day. All the way to the top, the Boulder Index, six hours of geomagnetic storm, three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. So we are rocking and rolling. Please remember we had the film eruption, canyon film eruption. Then we had the M1.02 flare, and then we had the C7.5 flare, all directly Earth-facing. Now, if any of these larger flares were to be Earth-facing, I'd hate to see what occurred here, because obviously our shields are very, very weak. Moving over to Lasco C3, we've had several big M flares. And I'm not sure if that or the second one was the M6.01 solar flare. Obviously, it's a very active sunspot as it faces the big gas giants. Earth is moving into a position where most of these flares may be directed directly at our planet. So let's start to be very worrisome and stay prepared. All right, taking a look at our star here, uh, AR3413 still seems to be hanging on. I don't visually see the sunspot, but they have named it again this morning, meaning, uh, well, it's still in play. We have 3415 right below that, also becoming very complex. And three other sunspot groups that are on the way to face the gas giants. Heading over to Discover, we see that we finally found our plasma here. You can see that it builds up stronger and stronger. It peaks just over 30 centimeters. There's a 32, I believe, in there. A 32.99, so 33 centimeters cubed. And then it slowly drifts off. This is what a hit is supposed to look like. You can see the solar winds are not increasing. They went from 550. And they did go up to 565, but they've been falling off all day long. And this is more what I'm used to seeing when we see a solar flare impact in a geomagnetic storm. Always made up of plasma, right? Plasma, not solar winds as we saw yesterday. Now, the big solar flare, the M6.01 solar flare, happened over the Middle East and parts of Africa here. You're catching the tail end of it here on the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. So, it was stronger than it looks here, but we've only got the tail end. So, with that said, we're still in the midst of a geomagnetic storm, unbelievably strong, went up to a G2 magnitude. And you have to consider that's from a canyon filament eruption 
an M1.02 solar flare and a C7.5 solar flare. So, the fact that these were not very powerful blasts should worry us all. It means that our shields are very, very weak, and if we end up getting hit by a major solar flare, we could be in for some large trouble. With that said, God bless. Share, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.